Hey guys, welcome back to the lesson 6 of PineScript and in this video we're going to talk about the comparison operators in PineScript. This topic is pretty simple and it should not take you very long to understand it completely. Let's go through this lesson and let's talk about these operators one by one. There are six comparison operators in PineScript. The first one is less than operator and it is used to compare two values and the result of this will be true when we mention that the first value is let me just change this here to less than so if this one is less than two which is a true then the result will also be true okay and then here this is a less than or equal to operator and it is used to compare the value if either the two values are less than or equal to let me just show you by example here so if i change this to two is less than or equal to less than or equal to two so now in this case the result will remain true because two is equal to two so this one so this one compares two things okay first is if the first value is less than the second value and then it checks if the first one is value is equal to the second value and if the result of any of those operations is true then the it returns us the true value okay the third operator is not equal operator and this is used in a situation where we want to get the true when two values are not equal to each other as in this case here not equal operator we are we have said that one is not equal to one which is a false statement so the result of this statement will be false okay then there is the greater than operator which is it looks like this so if i say two is greater than two the result of this expression will be false because 2 is equal to 2 okay it is not greater than 2 then there's a greater than or equal to operator which is here so we're saying 2 is greater than or equal to 1 this is similar to less than or equal to but in opposite direction so the so the result of this expression will be true okay and then here this is the last example which says bullish it checks if the candle is bullish or not okay and if the result is true it will return as true so current so let's say if the close we're saying close is greater than open now you know that the close of a bullish candle will always be greater than open so this expression checks if the candle current candle is bullish and if it is bullish then it returns a true value and if it, the current candle is for, uh, bearish it returns a false value in order to understand this concept you need to understand the execution model of PineScript as well so if you haven't watched that video already please go ahead and check that out so that you'll be understand able to understand this completely i hope you like this video if you have any questions please comment down below and i would love to answer them also don't forget to subscribe to our channel so that you'll be the first one to know whenever we upload new content see you guys in the next video thank you